If you're like me and you constantly calibrate your display on a Mac when you go into system preferences and you want to choose a color profile, you will find out that there are so many old profiles in there that are no longer relevant to the current display calibration. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can go in and clean out the old profile from your Mac OS. I'm Art and Art is Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. macOS does a really good job of color management throughout the entire operating system and changing the color profile is very simple. You will simply go into System Preferences, click on Display option, and it will pop up with these dialogues. Right now, you're seeing two windows side by side because I have the SW270C and my built-in laptop display all linked up. Essentially, I can go into the color tab for each of these respective display as you see here and change the profile accordingly to what I like. However, what I want to do is focus on the SW270C because I have so many profiles from this display in there as you see and many of these profiles are testing profiles that are no longer relevant to the current calibration. So, I like to go clean that out. How do we do that on a Macintosh system? Simply enough, what you want to do is start out with Finder, launch a new window, and once you have the new window open, go up here to the Go menu. And what you want to do then is hold down the Option key, click on Library. This will pull up your library folder. This is your local user library folder, and it will contain the information in a color profile. The location where you want to go to next is Color Sync, Profile, and all of your profiles are in there. So what I would do many times is I would create another window because what you can simply do if you like is go in and delete them right away. However, I don't think that's always the best idea. So I'll go into documents and I'll create a new folder called profiles or old profiles. And what I would simply do is just remove them from the system here. So I have a few SW270C dating way back. Let's keep the most recent one. And there you have it. You can just simply drag the profile out that way and to remove the profile and the clutter from your system preferences when you go in and choose the color profile setting. For instance, if I go back in here and I'll go out of display tab, I'll go in here again, you will notice that the number of profile for the SW270C has drastically reduced down to there's only two because I have removed the rest out already from the color sync profile folder. And this is how you would do it. Here's something to note. If you're running on a hardware calibrated display system, it's always a great idea to go in and remove the old profile because those profiles are generally paired with the hardware calibration on the display itself. For example, these SW profiles are paired with the hardware inside this SW display. If you're doing a software calibration, that means you're using i1 Profiler or the Spider software or i1 Studio running a calibration on your MacBook Pro, your iMac, or any other displays that is not capable of hardware calibration, it's not a bad idea to keep those old profiles there. This way you can switch between the new and the old profile to do comparison and really see the difference between how the profile was built. And if the old profile is better for some reason, you can always switch back to those too. So in a software calibration, you have more flexibility. In a hardware calibration, just stick with the profile that you just currently generated for this particular calibration. Anyway, I hope that you find this guide on how to clean up the profile on a Mac OS system helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified for great tips like this. And until next time, I just right.